Welcome to Italy. We have made it to Italy. I am just as happy as can be inside. I am <laughs> she can't contain genuinely herself. so excited to be here. Italy is like just kind of one of those places to me where it's like you hear about it, you see pictures, you're in it, you experience it, and your heart just is full. Mm. Oh my mm. goodness. I just love it here. I absolutely love Italy, and I am so excited to be here. Guys, we had a great day yesterday. We were very sad to leave Greece. Obviously, we had the time of our lives in that country. What's I wrong? I want to go. <laughs> Break my suit. He keeps looking back. <laughs> and we absolutely hope to go back one day. A lot of things still to see in that country. But we packed up, headed to the airport there in Santorini, and had a beautiful non stop flight to Bari here in Italy. <laughs> and boy, were the views incredible. Goodbye, Greece. Flying over the Cycladic Islands, unlike anything I've ever seen. It was so cool. And bonus, Daniel and I had a row all to ourselves. It was the front row. And I feel like the plane was like pretty full. And we were like, oh, for sure someone's gonna come sit in this window seat. Cause we were an aisle in middle and then no one did. Flight attendants were like, boarding is complete, closing the doors. And we were like, oh my God. And so he scooted in. No, no, no. I wanna look out the window. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guys, this is not how you're supposed to use a middle seat. <laughs> it would just worked out to be great. So beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous views and then flying into Bari. You guys, we've never been here. Some of you know we have been to Italy before. Years ago, we came to Rome, Florence, and Cinque Terre. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. This time, it's a completely different part of Italy that we have never been to before. Italy, baby! <laughs> Just touch down back on Italian soil. We are staying in the town of Albero Bello. Albero Bello. You guys, I'm gonna learn Italian, okay? I want to learn Italian so bad. For some reason, I would say that Italian is probably the number one language on my list of languages that I wish I knew. I wanna learn Italian, French, and Spanish. Those are the three languages I really <laughs> wish that I spoke. That's it? Yeah, those okay. three. But anyway, we are in Albero Bello. How was my accent? Beautiful. Thank you. Thank I love you. it. You have to do this. Flows <laughs> right off the tongue. This town is known for their truly. They're everywhere. And we are staying in one right here. <laughs> Lucky number seven, that's ours. I'm gonna show you around. Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our true love. I think it's so cool in here. Oh my gosh, this is easily Michelle's favorite place she's ever stayed. Yeah, I just love it here. I just love Italy. I just love it here. I love the people, I love the food, I love the views. Let me show you around. This is about it. This is what you see behind me. Here. I literally have it all in this shot. <laughs> yeah, we've got a nice little couch here. We have a little kitchen table. It might not seem big, but I feel like it's got plenty of space. I mean, look at this has got plenty of space. Kitchen table, TV, microwave. We got a fridge under there. We've got a little kitchen sink over there. Some storage right here. He even gave us like snacks over there. I don't know what they are. And then there's our bed, obviously, in a little cave. And then in here we have our bathroom. Watch your head. Here's our cute little bathroom. I just love all these little touches. Like the sink is hanging. I mean, it's probably not really hanging, but it looks as though it's hanging from these little ro Okay, it's definitely not. This is <laughs> From these cute little ropes. I just love it. This like rock stone rawness. Ooh, I just love it. And that, my friends, is our true though. You need to show my favorite part. Yes. I'm coming in front of the camera. Hold on. All right, you guys saw from the outside all of these little truly, speaking of which, truly is plural for trulo, which is the stone little house. They all have the big, tall, conical roof. And so we got in here, and I'm looking up there, and you can't even tell. It looks like the ceiling is right here, but guys, it's not. You ready? <laughs> you I gotta go higher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't even hit the top. It's so tall. All right, here we go. Oh! 
heard that one. Guys, this place, we were talking with one of the owners last night. They were just renovated this last July and they are beautiful. We'll throw a link in our description of the video so you guys can check this Airbnb out. They did a good job. All the stone work, the plaster, the wood, but they are so well done. I mean, that plaster is so good, you can't even see. <laughs> oh! I am almost as excited as Shell to be staying here, but I don't think anyone could be quite as excited as her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some pizza. Okay. All right, guys, we gotta talk a little bit more about these awesome Trulli. <laughs> so Trulli guys are very unique to this area of Italy called Puglia, which is the region on the east side of the country. Kind of where we flew in in Bari is right on the east coast. And they're very cool, as you can see, and they're everywhere. Like, they're just so different. And they're all constructed the same. They all have a very conical stone roof, as you can see, everywhere. From what I've heard and what we've been told, the reason that they exist here is because they were kind of made to be a non permanent home, something that can be dismantled and put together very quickly because four walls without a roof is not technically a home and you can't be taxed on it. So back in the day, sneaky, hundreds of years sneaky. ago, they could dismantle the roof really quickly and then it was not a home and a tax collector could not tax them. Then they could put it right back up. I don't know how true that is, but that's kind of what I've been reading. <laughs> <laughs> They're obviously very sturdy construction and a lot of them still exist today. This is so cool, guys. A lot of these have been converted into Airbnbs, places to stay, shops, stores, and they they all look amazing. Shelly is truly pleased with the truly. I am truly <laughs> in heaven. I'm truly and truly heaven. That's the last time we will use that pun. I'm so not, there you go. Dear, I'm not agreeing to that. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't understand your creativity. I have no idea. Look at it. I'm getting you through this little gate. Go do something <laughs> cool. Go with this like incredibly unique, amazing neighborhood that we are walking through. We've got an awesome light drizzle. I mean, the weather is just perfect. I'm just loving every second of this. But what's really cool about these is a lot of them are like vacation rentals, Airbnbs, little hotels, things like that. But a lot of them are also privately owned and people still live in them today. As I remember the first time that Shell showed me a photo of one of these truly out here in Albero Bello. I had never heard of Puglia, this region. I've never heard of Albero Bello. I think you do have the Italian pronunciation Albero, better than I do. Albero Bello. I've never heard or seen Look any of view. it. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. It's just so cool. I feel like to you it just looks like a big garage, but it's not. Truly everywhere. Well, I remember when you first showed it to me, I was blown away. I was like, we have to put that on our roadmap and get there. And here we are. That seems like so long ago. It really does. A lot of people will come to this area, the Albero Bello, and just do like a day trip. Because honestly, it really probably could be done in a day but we both thought if we're going there we have to stay in one because yeah. like that's part of the experience and honestly we are so glad that we did decide to stay here because all the day trippers come in and they go on their walking tours but then they all leave and we have the streets like completely to ourselves and it is so cool i think the rain's helping a lot too not just for us but the crowds i haven't touched this stone <laughs> i want to eat something small <laughs> I want to eat something small now, so I'm hungry for pizza in an hour when the restaurant <laughs> when the restaurant wakes up, opens when the restaurant opens. Thank you. Thank you. We were going for a quick snack, but somehow it turned into a breakfast. But don't you worry, I will still want pizza later and a lot of it. Pizza and pasta, both. <laughs> Hey, Shell, you need a new hat? I want to add mine up here. It's a hat swap. <laughs> All 
All right, you guys, we have been waiting to come to Italy so that we can just indulge on all the pizza and pasta that our heart desires because truthfully, that's like some of our favorite food. That's all it desires. We found a play, great reviews, but they're not open yet. They open in, I don't have a watch on, they open in 45 minutes. That's so not very long. We will be back. <laughs> Coming back for you, pizza and pasta. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked and pleasantly surprised at how like dog friendly this area is. There are dogs everywhere. everywhere. Guess how many Shell has pet? 100%. She will approach them and go, so cute. <laughs> And then she goes. That's <laughs> usually my opening line. And then I smile and get really excited and say, "Oh, so cute." And then it softens him up. Then she says, "Is he friendly?" Oh, it's a sheep <laughs> or something. I don't know. Not what I sound like. <laughs> I'll say, "Oh, are they friendly?" And they'll say, "Yes, yes." And then I'll stick my hand out and then I'll give the puppy so many pets. Yeah. It, oh, I just honestly, love all of them so much. We can't go around a corner or down the street without Shell spotting another one. And I get excited and I always squeeze. Daniel and say, there's yeah. a bubby. It makes me panic, like, oh crap, what's wrong? There's oh, a bubby. It's just there's another dog. I call them bubbies. Definitely missing our little Lou right now. There's so many pups here. And it's so dog friendly. Like you just take them in restaurants. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Definitely different than back home. I love it. Just another reason why we love Italy so much. Really all of Europe has been very dog friendly, but. <laughs> All right, restaurant opened. We got sat. You guys, we waited out there for an hour. The restaurant opened 30 minutes late, which is fine, but I'm really hoping this meal blows our minds. The fact that we're beyond starving right now, I'm thinking that that's for sure going in its favor. <laughs> we may have ordered a lot, we were hungry, but our appetizer and our pizza just came and we may or may not have pastas coming too. We got the Diabola pizza over here, which is just a pepperoni pizza, but so good. And then we got burrata over here, buried, in some prosciutto and I didn't realize all that came with it. <laughs> okay, we devoured the burrata and the pizza very quickly. Now we have pasta and it looks so good. We were hungry. <laughs> What an amazing start to our Italy food tour. That was incredible. That was so good. Like, honestly, I dare say that was some of the best food we've ever had in Italy. Like, the, counting the first time we came, right? I loved it. The pizza was perfect. It was so the good. The pasta, mine had pistachios <laughs> sprinkled on top. Pistachio. And it was a cream sauce with pancetta. It was fantastic. Mine was a red sauce with tomatoes, obviously. Parmesan cheese. I don't know what my little nudes were. They were like little circle, but it was they look like so good. They look like those sleds that you sit in, <laughs> the little saucer pan sleds. That's what my noodles oh look my like. Gosh. I'm glad we waited there, and I'm glad they opened, and I'm glad they sat us. Well worth the wait. I'm honestly really glad that we got there when we did. We actually got there a little bit early because- We're starving. And we were like, oh, well, let's just go. Maybe they'll open early. Turns out they opened 30 minutes late, but I'm so glad we waited because so many people that were in our line, the line was like way down the street, and so many people that came in after were all but getting turned away because they were totally full. We didn't have reservations, but we were like the first person in line. So yeah. they sat us and I'm so <laughs> glad. It was delicious. Perfect ending to this incredible day. I've just loved today. I know. I just love it. El Pedro Bello has been the coolest town. We're gonna head back so to our cool. little Trullo, get some rest because we have another big day tomorrow. Guys, we are in Italy for a little while. We cannot wait. This is a big country. We have lots of stuff we wanna see. A lot of ground to cover. We hope you guys are excited. Definitely get down in the comments Comments. Honestly, we want to hear from you. If you have any favorites, must do's, eats, sees, whatever, we want to hear it all. Mostly eats. We're very into the food. <laughs> we want to hear it all and do it all. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>